This episode is brought to you today by TSC Hustlers League. TSC Hustlers League is an online group coaching program designed to help sellers of all levels. Whether you're brand new to sales or you've been selling for a long time, but find yourself in a rut, you want to be able to improve, want to close more deals, you have to check out the program. Perhaps you're a part of an organization that just doesn't have the proper training and you want to get to the next level. Check out TSC Hustlers League. To find more information, simply go to thesalesevangelist.com slash hustlers. Again, thesalesevangelist.com slash hustlers. It would be an absolute honor to have you join us. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode, it's what I call a little snippet, right? TSC Hustlers League, as you've heard, is my online group coaching program, and each week I take a snippet of one of our training sessions. The training sessions typically last about an hour, but you know what? I can't give you the whole hour worth of stuff right now, right? So I give you a little snippet. I give you a little, a little, little chunk that you could take and apply that can help you in your business. This week, I have another piece of uh, a little taste here for you that's going to help you out so much. I won't give it all away because we're going to go ahead and dive into the recording, and you can listen to it and apply it and tell me how it has helped you. So let's go ahead and dive into the good stuff. Take us out, Mr. DJ. The second part is forgetting. I can't tell you how much this has happened to me, where I forget to do something, especially when it comes to asking for referrals. I'm take a sip of water here. But forgetting to ask for the referral oftentimes come because it's just not on our mind. The way that we're programmed is that as a sales professional, what we tend to do is we, get, we do a cold calling. We're taught, we're programmed that that's how we generate opportunities is by going out and cold outreach. It's like we're trained to do things the hard way and we do it over and over and over again without necessarily asking why are we doing it this way. Now, I'm not, again, please don't get this wrong. I'm not saying you should not do cold outreach. It's not that you should not do cold calling. I do it myself. I've generated opportunities. I generate business from them. But here's the thing. It's not the only way of generating business. So as a sales pro, as a professional that's out there, what else can you do to remember to get these referrals? What else can you do to make it easier for you to generate business? Just put it on your calendar. Put it on there just like how you put prospecting, just like how you block off time to go and do cold outreach. Put it on there to reach out to prospects. And here's some of the things that I would share that's helped me that will help you as well. Set weekly goals. One of the best ways to overcome this is to create a habit. Create a habit and set a goal for of three per week. That's an easy one, right? If you were to say your goal is to get three referrals per week, just simply three referrals per week, that's that's amazing. Let's think about it. If a referral from the beginning of the episode, I mean, it's not the episode, (laughs) beginning of the recording of the session here, I started to tell you that at 50, a referral is 50 to 70% chance of closing. This is 50 to 70% chance. So if I got a referral, and let's say that I'm not that great, I haven't taken Donald's wonderful closing or building value course, and I don't know how to do that. So I am sitting here relying on my own skills, my own capabilities, and my capabilities allow me to close maybe one of those referrals per week. Of those three referrals I'm getting per week, and I'm closing one of them on average, think about what, and if you say your your conversion rate is, you mean you're closing, your sales cycle is a one month period. So you got the referral today, this week, and you started working on it, and it takes a month. So you close it in January. Say January 13th is when you close this. You're going to have a system going there. Because if you're doing this every week, you're going to have somebody closing in January the first week. You're going to have somebody close in the second week and in, in, uh, the third week in January, fourth week. And then you're going to go into February. And you're going to have the system continue to grow. And you're going to have that process. And then you're going to get improvements. You probably say, well, I, I can start closing on average about two of these three referrals that I get. Because again, you have a 50 to 70% chance of closing a referral. So think about that. What, what kind of money could that be for your organization? I'm just walking you through this, man. I'm walking you through basic stuff. I'm telling you this stuff because it's the truth. I'm preaching it. So if you were able to get, say, an average deal size is $10,000, right? So if a $10,000 deal and you're able to get one of those from a referral per week, right? That's $40,000 per month that you're getting there that you bring it in. And say your quota is $80,000 per month. Half your business is coming from referrals. That would be a pretty sweet setup. That would be an amazing setup. And you're probably saying, Donald, you know, theoretically, that sounds great. But how do I get my customers? I don't only have so many of them. Don't you worry. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to give you all the answers. I'm going to give you the step-by-step. And you're just going to follow them. You're going to put them in place. You're going to say, mm-hmm. 
this here makes sense, D Money. It makes sense, and I'm gonna do it. So set the goals three per week. And if you want to do more, I am totally fine with that. If you want to do less to start off, hey, that's fine. But listen, at least one or two is way better than what you're getting right now, which is nada. So set the goal. The next thing that I would tell you is accountability. You know, salespeople, sometimes we don't necessarily like to have accountability, but accountability, you know, you might be able to tell someone your goal, or this could be a coworker or a sales leader. You can do it on our Facebook group. Tell somebody. Tell someone about that goal that you might have. It's supposed to be tell, not sell there. <laughs> if you want to sell them on a goal, that's a great idea too. But the accountability side is important. When I worked as a sales rep and my manager, I had a manager at the time, and I would go in my one-on-one with her and I would tell her about things that I was working on. She would be, you know, obviously as a manager, she gets excited. Like, okay, great. This guy is taking advantage. He is doing stuff. He is proactive. And I can tell you, I've got better opportunities than some of the other team team members because she saw my incentives. She saw that my my desire to work, that I was actually doing stuff, that I was being creative. If you went into your sales leader and you told him or her that your goal is to get three referrals per week and that in your monthly one-on-one, you know, he or she is to follow up with you on that. Do you believe that he or she will? Of course, they more than likely will. Say you have an outside coach. If you had someone like me and you set the goal, you said, Donald, Coach Kelly, I want to make sure I get three referrals per week. You darn sure I'm going to follow up with you on that every single week. Or if you're an entrepreneur, if you work internally at an organization, work by yourself and you're the only person in an organization, you can definitely do the idea of also putting, get a Facebook group. You might join a mastermind. So you can join our Facebook group and just simply put, my goal is to get three referrals per week. I guarantee you that myself or one of the team members or somebody is going to follow up on you on that goal. If you put in that every week, people are going to keep you accountable. So I recommend you take advantage of that idea as well. And the third thing that I would share is set calendar invites. Put this on your calendar at a specific time each day, just like you have, like I shared, just like you have time that you're going to prospect, just like you have time you're going to reach out to your your cold outreach or you might follow up on your inbound leads. Why not set apart time to do some to do some uh, some referral prospecting? Why not set apart that 30 minutes to reach out to some of your clients? And then tomorrow you might say, well, I'm going to reach out to these next three clients and I'm going to try to get some referrals from them. That's all it takes. Very, very simple, easy task. But you want to tell you why it's why you, most of us won't do it? It's too easy. It's straight up. That's the truth. It's so easy to do that we're going to push it off and we're going to take some, uh, we're going to go back to the hard way because we're so programmed to just pick up the phone and dial. We are so programmed to doing that stuff that we don't realize that we can gain business easily by doing a simple referral project like this or a simple uh, referral strategy like what one we we're discussing. But it, it requires you to do some work. It requires you to take advantage of uh, these things and to do them up front because it just won't happen naturally. Okay, I take that back. It may happen naturally. You may find that you get some prospects who are interested initially in what you have to offer. But you know what? It's not going to come as easy. You are going to need to uh, you need to do something up front. So that's the thing. So the three three steps so far to in order to remember how to remember to ask for a referral is to set the goal. Get accountability with it. Get an accountability partner. Get your manager. Get your boss. Or to get into a Facebook group or join a community like ours and get into your mastermind. And the third thing is to set a calendar invite. And if you did get someone to be accountable, send them on a calendar invite. If you were to put on your calendar, if I was your sales leader and you told me that each week you're trying to get three referrals and that each day you're going to ask for a referral and you put that on your calendar and then you send me a calendar invite, say, Donald, hey, I'm going to put you on a calendar invite. I just want you to be there. So for accountability purposes, I'm going to, you don't have to, you know, obviously come for any meetings. Just want to CC you on this. And you were to send me that calendar invite. And every week you, every day you had that goal, your likelihood of doing that goal is going to increase significantly. And then also the likelihood of me being on top and making sure that you on top of you and saying, Hey, bro, you, you set this goal. I'm going to make sure you do it. That's going to increase significantly as well. If you want to do it right now, again, you can drop me an email, Donald at the sales evangelist.com. And I'll be more than willing to go ahead and to help you stay accountable on that goal. Mm, I'm telling you, I love TSE Hustlers League. We have a phenomenal group this semester. This is a piece from our last semester and this new semester, man, these guys are on fire. I can see them doing some amazing things. One of the groups from last semester, they uh, spoke with the, the sales manager the other day and he told me that. They apply the principle. They had a really bad past two years. Just the industry is really tough that they're in. But then they apply the principle. One of the sessions that I taught them, um, just one simple principle, 
And they saw um, in November and December of last year, the best months ever in the last two years. It was amazing. And I was like, ooh, make me feel all good now, right? So I'm not telling you this because I'm trying to boast, but I'm just telling you that if you apply these things, you can see amazing results. So take advantage of it, test it out. If you like what you're listening to, if you like what you're learning, if you enjoy it, you want to be a part of the community, be a part of TSC Hustlers League, you can go ahead and find all the details at the salesevangelist.com slash hustlers. We're accepting applications for the next semester. Again, it's the salesevangelist.com slash hustlers. The new semester begins in April. We already have some folks signing up. So check it out. Go ahead and get on the list. I share this stuff because I want to help you. I want you to be successful. I want you to be happy. But most importantly, I want you to go out each and every day and do big things.